hello guys uh, uh, today i'm going to show you that uh, how you can uh, simply <coughs> set up uh, uh, grunt and uh, uh, once we set up grunt uh, we need to install node.js first so here we go we need to install node.js <coughs> Um, you may install the uh, Node.js 1.0.1.4.1 um, LTC version. Currently, it's uh, um, using uh, this version. Uh, maybe in future, uh, you got uh, uh, the uh, updated version. Uh, so you need to install recommended for most users because auto reload functionality worked on recommended for most users. So once we install, uh, download it we need to mm, install show all we are uh, actually i am uh, already downloaded so this is it's installing so once we install it we can finish it so we go to our uh, visual code studio uh, because uh, this is the editor that I really like and uh, uh, it's easy uh, to access terminal um, and uh, <coughs> directory structure uh, will be here uh, because we can also add the uh, folder here uh, completely uh, we don't need to uh, create a project uh, blah 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 it's uh, really useful you may also install it and um, before we getting started uh, so uh, i'm going to uh, open my folder this is my e drive uh, projects and run setup so <coughs> i'm going to select my folder and then i'm going to just and uh, check it um, um, because uh, uh, once we install the <coughs> node.js uh, we need to uh, test the uh, thing that uh, everything is successfully installed so npm version um, i have the 6.10 uh, version in my um, uh, installed in my computer so we need to go to our uh, npm in it uh, here <coughs> we can uh, set up our project name you can uh, uh, just uh, uh, name it with your own because um, once you, you set up the uh, name of the project uh, it can be easily uh, changed so I'm going to write this so version is my one zero one zero and description should be uh, um, learning grant amounts so entry point uh, is uh, not necessary for me you can uh, uh, also uh, you, you need to add whatever you want so test command or git repository if you have any so keyword keyword maybe event author author i'm just leaving um, mpt4y uh, for now so yes <coughs> you can uh, test your uh, package.json file in your project folder here uh, I have the uh, package.json setup uh, that uh, have all the information that we have added uh, my project uh, version name and description so uh, now we can uh, set our uh, grunt file <coughs> we need to 
uh, go to our text editor and uh, uh, create grunt file.js here <coughs> we can uh, add the add some code that i have written uh, with my directory structure if you need to follow uh, i will uh, add uh, this uh, uh, plugin details and directory structure in my github account so you can go to there and download i will uh, add uh, this redirection link in uh, the uh, in my description so This is my directory structure that I have already uh, using uh, post uh, post CSS and uh, SAS and uh, uh, HTML build and uh, watch um, browser sync and uh, concatenation uglifying images uh, and I will. Um, um, describe you all these plugins that um, how they work in, in our next tutorial so now I am uh, uh, going to set up my uh, <coughs> sorry <coughs> npm install uh, globally I am uh, hyphen g is uh, related to globally setup grunt CLI so uh, once we uh, add this command in, in our uh, um, globally in a, uh, everywhere you can use your project uh, it's very easy you don't need to install again and again um, once I set up the um, npm globally um, grunt CLI so um, there is no need to install it um, again so here we got the uh, node.js uh, that can allow us to um, um, use that uh, plugins we don't need to um, uh, fetch all these node modules in our uh, root directory uh, like uh, uh, in our website uh, it's just for the compilation uh, image minification, SAS minification, JS minification and auto reload functionality works in this but once you uh, complete your project you don't need to uh, use uh, these files so um, here are some uh, commands that I am using uh, for uh, those uh, plugins uh, that we set up in my uh, grant file it's just a current sample file you need to experiment in your own also uh, so uh, I have uh, uh, write it uh, shorts commands npm install uh, save dev it's it means save devs uh, so a uh, grunt post cause post CSS is uh, here and uh, the uh, concatenation concatenation is here yeah. mm, here and uh, uglifying here and uh, image minification here so I'm going to install it and describe something some um, directory structure that we are using uh, so uh, post CSS is a uh, uh, minification of the CSS that we uh, build uh, into the minifying um, uh, I'm uh, uh, using the um, structure two structures one uh, is for development structure and one uh, is for production uh, once we got uh, the CSS in our production uh, route um, it will automatically minify um, again and again in every save so uh, sas the sas file is uh, also 
um, there is I'm going to use the uh, bootstrap for SAS and uh, it uh, it will uh, come up with the uh, uh, with the dev version in CSS um, and uh, also you can uh, uh, build HTML as a um, uh, directory so you have to set up header footer templates and dynamically uh, if you are using if you are creating multi pages website so you need to also install this and this also so uh, watch file watch file is for um, uh, watching your every save or uh, whatever you are uh, doing in your uh, in your code so also sync browser it's uh, it's really simple to describe that um, in every save we got the reload we don't need to manually reload um, uh, in every save so concatenation concatenation is for uh, js uh, um, yeah, uh, just uh, they watch this js folder and all the js files that you have created in um, in the js folder that can also reproductive uh, in our production word um, version that can all fetch all the json files and create a one file with the production.js and uh, also image modification is uh, uh, is the uh, uh, once you uh, add any image in your uh, src images folder that can um, um, minify and, uh, um, and save it to dev j uh, dev images in every uh, once you add any image and uh, that uh, extension in uh, they will read extension and um, just place it uh, with minify version in the dev images folder so uh, we need to uh, we need to now we have installed all of our plugins uh, here and uh, now we just need to install grunt and uh, save dev sorry yeah yeah it's fine so once we set up we need to um, go to our directory structure we need to create a folder for src oh not there it's wrong <coughs> and i need to create a folder here src and create a new file with the index.html and now here actually I'm using image for this so title goes here and just save it uh, first of all uh, once you set up your HTML build you need to uh, run grunt okay this is the grunt that uh, we set up it um, in default so there is uh, once we uh, so uh, we already uh, set up all those things that we need in our grunt so now i'm going to test uh, what uh, i have done so i'm going to run it and uh, that's our result they are not getting any file because the uh, because here we don't get any html file and we need to uh, run it uh, grunt html build 
now first uh, once you set up all those things you need to manually run the HTML build or image minification and uh, all those uh, plugins at once uh, and then uh, go to that that's all we all uh, we set up all things and here uh, we are getting the results that we made now I'm going to change it title goes here Uh, without any reload we got the exact result that uh, what we are doing now grant so that's very easy uh, for the image images uh, I will uh, um, I will also create a folder now directory with the name of images and then I may grab a picture from my uh, data. Mm -hmm. That is a picture that I can use in my in my project. So, grant setup here, dev and uh, src, src images. I can paste the image here that this image I'm using for the minification. And uh, first, we need to run the uh, image min command image min command is uh, uh, here yeah this this one is image minification command and we can run run image min and it will automatically uh, generate an image in the tab uh, it's a minify version you can I uh, use this directory structure as a website so that's all for now um, I can uh, also describe the uh, concatenation and ugly point in our next lecture so uh, if you like my video you need to subscribe and hit the like icon and also I will uh, add all the source code and the uh, f uh, commands that uh, I used in the description so take care for now